Hello and welcome to um, OMG James. Um, doing something slightly different today. You will get the um, regular spore red and spore green. I'm currently working on those because I've had a bit of a problem which you'll learn more about later. Um, but yeah, basically today um, I'm on a single player server of mine which um, and I'm, I'd like to basically talk and um, provide a little guide and just explore a bit more uh, about an aspect of Minecraft that's been around for a long time but um, I've only just started to discover ha um, many of the features of it and um, many of the opportunities it provides um, also Minecraft obviously is um, even now still um, gathering loads of new players so there'll be some of you out here who might never have played Minecraft or might still be learning the ropes like myself and therefore would um, like to learn more about this aspect which I really enjoy. Now what some of you will probably have already guessed um, that I plan to talk to you about today is NPC villages. Um, you get an, an NPC village is basically a group of buildings which um, house villages. Um, they have other structures so for instance over here you can see there's a little wheat farm um, growing. Um, they normally spawn, they spawn naturally in plains biomes and desert biomes. Um, the, um, there is a bit of difference in, in materials in the um, structures. For instance, obviously in desert biomes um, you'll see a lot more sandstone. Um, now, the eagle-eyed monkey will notice that A, this isn't a um, plains biome, I think this is a meadows biome, because this isn't quite as flat and this is also has a lot more grass. I think this is a meadows biome. Um, so that and just the general structures, because they're slightly different to what are normally seen. Um, it means that this is actually an artificial um, NPC village that I've created. Now, um, an NPC village, when um, created by a player, has exactly the same characteristics as it, well not exactly the same, it has the same options, the same, you can do all the same stuff with it that you can do with a naturally occurring one. But I mean often I've been playing with my friends on a Minecraft server, I've um, been exploring one naturally and um, people have been complaining to, um, to me about the fact that they just can't find a um, NPC village. So I thought, well, okay, um, maybe more people need to learn about um, the f fact that you can actually create your own and how to do so. Now, um, the main thing about a village is obviously it needs um, valid doors. Th the doors are the key, really. Well, that and the villages. Because um, to make it a village, you need doors which have um, rooms of um, five or more. Um, that doesn't make much sense, but basically, you see this door here, just underneath this block. This um, will have five, there are five blocks behind it, and they are inside. What makes it an inside um, block is that there is no direct sunlight, i.e. The, um, the sunlight above it is cut off, there is a block above it. Um, you need five inside blocks on one side of the door, and you need five outside blocks on another side of the door. This makes it a valid door, and this means the um, that at come night time the villagers will actually go through these do go into the doors and inside the buildings. So you can actually have a room which is literally just a door, a little bit of wood moving along one side, and that's it. The villagers will go in there. They'll move around on the outside, but for all intents and purposes, they'll be inside to the AI. They also need five blocks outside, so or f so five blocks that aren't covered. Um, so part of this, this isn't really much of a problem because it means you've got a bit of space. And, um, well, that's just natural, really, in villages of any kind, isn't it? Um, 
to create a sustainable population, you need at least two villages. Because once you've got two villages, then you've got um, the population will actually grow slightly. There is a, ca a limit on how much villages, how many villages you, your village will have, and that depends on the amount of buildings or valid doors that you have. Each building um, gives you, I think, 0.35 villages. So if we go up, we will say I've got one there, one there, and three buildings there. So I've got five. Um, really can't do basic maths at the minute. That means that my minimum uh, number of villages will be roughly about two or three, I think. If my maths are wrong, which they very possibly are, I'm going to blame the heat. <laughs> but yeah, um, however, you get baby villages, and um, and they take a while to grow up. When um, so when villages reproduce, you get baby villages, and because they take a while to grow up, it's very common that you'll end up getting more villages than you than the minimum. Okay, so that's something to be very happy about. Now um, it's starting to become no. So I'm going to show you first of all how to build a golem. I'm cheating a little because I'm in creative. Um, because I'm but I'm in hard difficulty but creative mode for demonstration purposes I assure you now first of all I want to make an a villager golem so five blocks of iron which is um, nine blocks of iron each and then a pumpkin on top and voila we've got our own vi villager golem he will basically go around and attack mobs that want to attack the villagers ie zombies because as the sun goes down and the moon comes up, we're going to get a village a village raid. A zombie raid. Zombies like to attack not just players but villagers. And um you often get large numbers of villagers depending on part on mainly how much light you have. Um because this isn't hard, um it's slightly different as to how it would be in normal. Um and quite and easy. First of all, in hard, the doors of so the um, buildings can be broken down by zombies. Also, in fifty um, in normal, there's a fifty percent chance that when killed by a zombie, a villager will turn into a zombie villager. Equally, in, well, not equally, but in hard. There's a 100% chance that when killed, a villager will turn into a zombie villager. Now this obviously makes it a lot more interesting. As we all just see here, sort of head in. So the door's been broken down by this zombie. Um, the golem's gone off that way somewhere. Ah, there you go. So, and there you go. See, the villager was smart in this case. He ran to the golem and has been protected just gone into another room but yeah the door has been destroyed there the golems can be attacked by zombies and they will attack zombies on site but um, sometimes the zombies will obviously fight back now if the zombies are already attacking they probably won't unless as you can see there there's a tiny little baby now if the golem that baby zombie, then that baby zombie will turn around and attack the golem. However, the adult zombies wouldn't. And the adult zombies would just keep on doing what they're doing and get killed. So that's one of the interesting, um, slightly odd perks about um, about zombies and baby zombies in particular. Because sort of I've been dis noticing this whilst preparing for this video, actually. Um, and I was checking them out, and there's a couple of other things, for instance, I th don't think baby zombies. Actually, we've got two zombie villagers there. All about to... I think, they, I think this is villager in here, isn't there? Is there? No. No villager. Okay. No villager. But, um, yeah. Baby zombies will not... Um, I don't think they burn in sunlight. 
so they're a bit hard to kill. Um, and whilst we're letting those guys um, fight it out, I'm going to start on another project, which is something that I've been having a bit of fun with. Now, this idea came to me when I was playing on my friend's Minecraft server, and um, this is something I've wanted to try out. Don't know whether we're going to get it done this episode. If not, I will provide a, I will do a follow-up video where um, we can just watch the fun unfold. Yeah, because don't want to be boring and do it and make this video last forever. But basically, basic plan is we're going to try and build a hall, a village hall, because obviously this village, I don't know. It's not big, big enough for my liking. I want more than five buildings. And I want a bit of variety as well. I want more than just five houses. We need a library. We need a well. We need a blacksmith. We need all sorts. But the one I want to work on right now is the village hall. And so let's get started. Might use, um, because it's a village um, hall, I reckon um, we should have a bit more this time. We should use some different building materials because obviously this is a lot more important this is the um this is the home well of the mayor really the mayor of this village which we need to come up with a name for actually so if you have any ideas put it in the book um put it in the comments section and um i'll take them on board and um well if there's one that's um more popular than the others we'll go for that if not then i'll choose myself because i'm nice like that but yeah, come on, let's put that back in there for now. Alright, so, I reckon, now sort of it be natural, because we're going to have other buildings as well, but the one I, I want to focus on the village for today. Um, we have it a bit high up, because this is of importance, isn't it? This is... A very important building. This is the home of authority. So, no, not put there. Let's start here. So, um, basically, um, this is this plan here is basically appealing to the psychotic side I have because I have many sides, but. The one I often tend to entertain most is my psychotic streak. I have all sorts of um, weird and wonderful ideas, as I'm sure anybody I know would um, happily confirm. But yeah, I tend to enjoy the violent. Um, I ent I enjoy violence a lot, and so um. Those of you who've seen 28, no, yeah, 20, 28 weeks later will um, know what I'm talking about when I say they end up clearing part of London. A very small part of London, but the idea is the um, zombies have... The, um, those infected with the rage virus are all... Um, they've all died of starvation. And so it's Basically, it's a safe zone. Well, safe in that you won't be attacked and eaten. Um, but what happens is... Now, this is going to need to be a lot bigger. This can be the foundations, yeah. But yeah, what happens is... Um, eventually, because of some idiots, they um, bring a carrier of the rage virus, who's somehow still alive, and um, they bring her into the safe zone. Now this obviously isn't the smartest idea, and brings up brings the net result of someone else getting infected, and um, basically bringing hell to London again. Um. So yeah. Now um, there is a scene in it where basically, um, when when there's a zombie problem, everybody is sent into these rooms to um, wait it out while snipers and the army um, take care of the problem. At least that's what's 
that's the idea. However, in the film, things don't work out like that, and um, literally, and a zombie is unleashed on this massive crowd. And so, I kind of like the idea. I'm toying around with this idea, but we need a large open place with very few exits where a zombie can cause hell. And this town hall, I reckon, will be that place. Um, I apologise, by the way, for my slow building. I've been um, criticised on this on multiple occasions. I'm trying to speed up, but this will take a long time, and so probably won't be done this video. But if you want, like I said, comment in the comment section, and I can either sort of, um, show you a um, occasionally make videos on this server about um, and show you how the village grows and other things that I've discovered, and um, occasionally have a bit of fun on this server. For instance, I mean, I've checked out the horse update, but not fully. So I want to do a bit of exploring on that. I want to see what's going on there. Because um, started mucking around a little with the horses with my friends, but that just confused me. And so I just casually went around killing stuff and hunting for diamonds. Um, but I digress. So yeah. Now, um... Yeah. Um, jump into here, going with a... Tip, um, what I think is a typical setup. So I've got a small farm. Um, I want to get a livestock farm. That's not. That doesn't tend to be, I think, in um, NPC villages. But you get. But this is. This isn't just going to be an NPC village. This is going to be basically my village area of fun. Um, so you've got glowstone lamps. Um, you can get glowstone lamps from two ways either cheating in or you can get glowstone you can mine glowstone in the nether um more about that later so yeah um roads made of gravel as you can most likely see will best replace those doors and um sooner we make some more buildings the better the reason i say this is because currently what's happening you'll notice that that on a daily basis the villager population is wiped out by zombies. Um, the reason for this is because the villager population can't really survive because there's too few villagers so they're very easy to kill off despite the um, golem that's protecting the village. Um, so we'll just plop a few more down. So yeah, and so um, basically, because of the ratio that I said earlier, if we um, two six that should be fine. If we produce um, more villagers. Oh, I don't think it was. Uh, then um, if we produce more buildings, then we'll have more capacity for more villagers, and so the villagers will reproduce more. And once they've done that, then that means hopefully we'll have enough villagers that not all of them will be killed off in a single night. And they'll actually be able to reproduce. And during the day, the population of this village will be able to build up and it will grow. And hopefully, hopefully, that's when the fun can really begin because we can then fid fiddle with things we could um, perhaps... Spawn, spawn zombies in in particular places, start building traps for villagers and zo and or zombies. And the opportunities are really endless, especially when you enjoy a casual lack of sanity like I do. Um, so yeah. Now I'm not sure whether this, the village hall, hall here, will be, as in if I was to build it now, whether it would be incorporated as part of the village and so add to the... Um, door numbers in the village because currently the village boundaries is um it's 32 blocks away from any door so 30 blo 32 blocks that way 32 blocks that way and 32 blocks that way 
Oh, that's the boundaries of the village. I'm not sure whether that covers this building here or not. So, I think what's going to happen is we're going to extend this village out a bit more. We're going to put some more stuff here. Possibly some two, um, some buildings with more than one level. Because, don't want all one heart. These are really just because I want to start a place to have my village. And, obviously, I can add to it as time goes on and it can expand and hopefully it will really be something we've got a couple of options here we've got several things we can do we've got a pond we've got the sea you know um we've also got a pit here now build a fence to try and keep villagers out or at least partially because also there's a cave down there somewhere somewhere i saw a cave there there is a cave somewhere, I don't know what's happened, it's gone. Let's try and investigate, there's a cave somewhere. Before I look like I'm completely deranged. Okay, so there's something under there. And as for that other ca the fabled cave, well, I've got nothing, I'm, I'm not sure. There, 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 okay, there's there's another one there, I, I got slightly confused. You can see there's a couple of caves, there's one there, one there, there's some coal there. And there's another one there. Um, so yes. So naturally the villagers are going to... Because whilst they have... semi Well, they have AI, it's not very good. Another thing that should be noted about villagers, they, for instance, they don't know to stay away from lava. They don't know to stay away from large drops. And they don't fight. In other... I've been playing on a couple of servers before, had some villagers, they've wandered off into a cave and um, just never returned because they've either fallen in some lava or um, I, or they've um, landed near a mob spawn or just a piece of cave and there's been someone not too far away on the surface or in another cave and um, therefore a mob spawned and a zombie spawned and just killed them off. So. Yeah, the, there's really endless ways that um, villagers can die in this. So, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. Given a basic outline of the um, village, let me know what you think in the comments. And we can either build on this gradually, and occasionally I'll do a video of that. And... Um, we can have some fun there and obviously post in the comments because this is the key about this I'm still not sure how I'm going to do this so comments will be very important because comments will determine first of all we need a village name I reckon also considering ha names for the houses so like addresses yeah. but, um, really just any ideas I mean we could have ideas for building designs so if you want um, or if you wanted them all to be bungalows, or because I'm thinking of having a couple of two-level houses, you know, yeah. ideas on what to do with this village. Because as it is, I'm just going to build and grow, explore new ideas, and occasionally an evil idea will pl um, pop into my head. Yeah. So, any ideas you have about this village, any questions you have about yeah. villagers, and N NPC villagers, and zombie raids, and iron golems. Let me know, and I'll do my best to answer them. And I'll, if I like the ideas, or if enough people like them, then I will incorporate these ideas into the village and into the server. Because this server, this single player server, is here to stay as we um, investigate and have some fun. Uh, even whilst just talking, I've got um, ideas popping up. So hopefully, you guys will do the same when you see this video. Um, in other news, just a um, quick update here. Amped. Um, Sadus is getting a computer soon. So, well, because, um, long story short, he's been unable to access a computer currently, meaning that he's not been able to put stuff up. However, he gets a computer hopefully tomorrow. And so the plan is, either this week or next week, there shall be an episode, there shall be a video where we um, do muck around on an amp server and do something then. That should be enjoyable. Spore Red and Spore Green are in the pipeline. I will put them up at some point. Um, 
El- as for Elf, because don't forget there are three of, um, members of OMG or one more game. Um, Elf, which is, we're hoping to get in on the AMP server as well. She's currently on what seems to be a very new other YouTube server. So it's very possible, I can't speak for her, but it's possible, hopefully, that she'll be doing, she'll be a bridge between two sets of YouTubers, which would be great, means we've got loads of opportunities for exploring. Anyways, you guys are probably going to start getting bored now. Um, Thank you, hope you've enjoyed the video, and goodbye.